If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to episode 10 of Learn Gatling series. In this episode 10, we are going to see about correlation in Gatling. So correlation is a very important concept. It is a must uh, know concept for any performance engineers. If you're working with any tool, uh, make sure you are learning this process because this process is widely used. Without this, you might not be able to uh, script a business scenario. I have already put up multiple videos about correlation. You can uh, refer the uh, old videos, but uh, I'm going to touch base about the correlation process and then we are going to see how you can achieve it in Gatling. So correlation is a, a process where you will be able to extract the uh, dynamic values uh, from the responses. So typically you uh, store the values from the uh, body or from headers and then you store it in a variable and then you will use that value in the uh, subsequent request. A typical example would be a session uh, variable. So session, uh, each user, each time uh, it will be uniquely generated by the server. So you have to capture that uh, session uh, variable and then you have to store it. Then you have to pass it in the subsequent request. So another example is like a, a cookie values, key value pair. Or if you want to retrieve something from your application, for example, order ID or date and time and so on. So these details, usually it comes from the server side. So whatever it is uh, getting from the server side, if you want to extract it and save it, you have to follow the process called correlation. So without correlation, your script might fail. If it is a very simple application, uh, then you know, don't need to have a correlation process. But uh, if you are working with the uh, session variable, uh, mainly for logging in and doing some business action and logout, then you must take care of the correlation process. Otherwise, your script will fail and you are not testing the real world scenario. So in uh, JMeter, the the concept is called extractors. In Loadrunner, uh, we have a set of function. But in uh, Gatling, there is no official term as correlation. But using the checks concept, uh, you can uh, achieve the correlation process. We already covered uh, checks in the previous video. So please go through that video to brush up uh, the checks. So checks is basically for validation and for extraction. To extract, you can use dot find, find all, find random. And also if you want to extract something dynamic, then you can use the uh, regex, regex dot capture groups, count, find all, etc. So these are some sub subset of uh, methods. You can use it in the uh, Gatling uh, Java. So now uh, to explain with an example, we are going to use uh, bank of anthos dot uh, xyz. So it is some uh, demo website which is available uh, for public uh, use, but do not put up any load just to use this website to learn the concepts. So here we are going to launch the uh, bank of anthos dot uh, xyz. Then after you successful uh, login, you are going to use the checks concept to extract the balance information. And then we are going to store the balance information in a variable. Then we are going to uh, attempt the uh, transfer the amount from one account to another account. And after successful transfer, we are going to verify the balance again and make sure the balance is matching or not. And then at the last step, we are going to uh, log out. So this is a typical uh, use case. So we are going to see how we can achieve this in Gatling. So before that, I want to show you the sample code. And here, uh, the top right, we have the uh, HTML response. So this is the response which will contain the balance information. And we are going to use the regex pattern. And then we are going to use the capture group. So we are going to slice this regex in the next slide. And then we are going to save this uh, as a before transfer balance. So this is one of the critical uh, section uh, in my code, which we are going to see in the demo section. So now let us uh, slice the regex. So here the regex uh, is a span class and then some uh, string and then id equals uh, some uh, string and then within that we have the uh, balance. So here you can see uh, we are using some escape characters. So escape characters for the double quotes and escape characters for the slash. And similarly, uh, we have uh, some a set of uh, escape characters for each uh, capture group. So you have to mainly focus on the uh, escape uh, characters, otherwise your script will fail. So make use of regex or no one or uh, uh, online regex uh, testing tools to test your uh, regex. And then we have something called capture group here. 
so the capture group will be surrounded by uh, open and close parentheses so this is where you have to write your regex pattern so whatever there inside the parentheses it will be captured so here if you see there are two capture groups this is the capture group one and here this is the capture group two so the balance uh, in the screen will be displayed between the span uh, tag so we have to capture the second capture group not the first one so if you are capturing the first one it will retrieve the class uh, details but we don't want the class details we need the balance and then i i have something called multi-line some of the responses might have the multi-line response so you need to uh, take care properly and then you have to trim it so those things are uh, being handled in the code so let us focus on the capture group 2 so here uh, the capture groups you have to mention the number exact number otherwise uh, it will retrieve only either 0 or 1 so you can go maximum of 2 8 uh, capture groups in gatling and then in the last step we are saving the capture group 2 into some variable called uh, after balance then we are going to use this variable after balance in the subsequent code so this is the uh, slice of the regex pattern if you know this particular regex you can easily write the other forms similarly for json we have the uh, json path uh, james path so you can uh, easily write for the other uh, forms so now let us see a quick demo uh, with the bank of anthos.xyz so this is the sample website uh, which i was talking uh, in the slide bank uh, hyphen of hyphen anthos.xyz and if you load this page by default it will auto fill the username and password now if you click on uh, sign in it will uh, log in successfully and then it will display the current balance and using the deposit funds and send payment you can uh, deposit the amount and you can send the payment so these are dummy uh, sample data and in the transaction history you can see the history of the transactions uh, top right it will display the account number so to deposit uh, some funds you can just uh, click on this deposit and select the account and then you can enter say hundred dollars and click on deposit now the balance will increase and similarly you will get the message deposit successful and if you want to send payment just to click on send payment and select the uh, account number here and again if you just uh, put thousand uh, dollars and click on send the balance will reduce and you can see the payment successful so now if you right click inspect and if you just right click on the current balance it will automatically uh, show you the balance uh, tag information here and if you expand it you can see the balance so using this span id current balance and class and the uh, uh, closed uh, span we are going to capture the current balance and then we are going to do some manipulation and if you want to capture this uh, the whole request and response you can use the uh, network tab in your browser now let us go to IntelliJ so as usual I have created the package called uh, correlation and inside the correlation package I have the correlation demo class and uh, you can follow the uh, all the directives here uh, relevant inputs and line number 21 it will launch the home uh, page base URL which is bankofanthos.xyz and uh, line number 24 we are sending a post request to slash login URL so here the username and password is test user and uh, the password is password and here after successful login we are writing the uh, regex using the dot check method so inside the dot check we have the regex pattern as you see here uh, we have the capture groups this is the capture group one uh, this is capture group two and also we have the escape characters for the double quotes and slash and we have the capture groups count number two and here i am saving this as before transferring the balance and then i'll wait for a uh, pause for uh, one second then i'm generating something called random uh, number up to a uh, thousand to transfer the uh, random uh, amount so it could be like a 10 or it could be 100 or 500 so it depends on the uh, random uh, number generation and then in line number uh, 35 onwards uh, we are transferring the funds so here let me change the name to uh, transfer uh, funds and here i'm checking the balance so line number 39 40 42 43 it will uh, manipulate the uh, string to uh, the uh, big decimal and then uh, we are just checking whether it is less than or zero so if it is less than or zero it will just print the not enough balance 
and if it is not it will proceed to the transfer so i have not uh, taken care of any kind of uh, logical uh, split here i'm just uh, printing for my uh, debugging information and then uh, line number 55 onwards we are transferring the funds so here you can see the account number i'm transferring and the other form uh, form param or empty and then uh, uh, form param uh, for the amount to transfer and some random uuid and here also i'm extracting the balance and i'm going to save this as after balance and again i'm manipulating from string to big decimal and then i'm comparing whether the uh, before the balance and after the balance uh, both are uh, equal or not so i have done some kind of a, a manipulation here and it will uh, always uh, make sure the balance before and after is uh, same and then it will just print the balance is matching otherwise it will just print balance is not matching so again in the last step i am just uh, logging out so now this is how i have scripted but there are uh, maybe some better ways but just to explain the uh, regex and the uh, extraction concept i have uh, shown this uh, simple uh, regex so now let me execute uh, this script so again i am going to uh, use the uh, run uh, script uh, dot bat and this will uh, run this uh, particular uh, scenario for one thread and after this execution we can see the html report in the browser now the execution is done let me uh, copy this and open it in the browser so now as you see all the uh, transaction is successfully completed and nothing uh, failed and here you can see the home logged in uh, redirection transfer funds logout etc and all the uh, checks also uh, is passed so if you go to the uh, details page and if you just scroll down you can see all the relevant charts and graphs and also left side you can see the uh, transactions so this is how you capture the uh, dynamic values and then you store it in a variable and use it in the subsequent request so we are going to uh, deep dive into correlation concept in the eventual videos but uh, we are just uh, scratched the surface of correlation in gatling thank you for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel